Drill with Phillips bit, 9 16 wrench, protective glasses, wire stripper, wire crimper, and gloves. Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. In today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the differences of two voltage reducers that we have here in front of us. These are both 10 amp, but one of them converts 16 or 18 volts down to 12 volts, while the other will take your entire battery pack and reduce it down to 12 volts. So what we show here, this is a 36 volt or 48 volt voltage reducer. This can be found on our website. Uh, it comes with instructions, but we're going to show you here in a little bit how to put this up to your cart. And then this one that we have over here is a 16 or 18 volt voltage reducer. Now this, this particular voltage reducer will work on 48 and 36 volt carts by utilizing either two of the batteries in the battery pack or three of the batteries. This one also comes with detailed instructions as well. Now before I get into the in install process, both of these come exactly like what I just showed you. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to purchase some 5 16 ring terminals, a little bit of extra cable, or wire. Uh, 16 gauge is preferable. I wouldn't really go above 16 gauge or any thinner than 16 gauge. And then you'll need some butt connectors so that you can connect the wires from the voltage reducer to the, uh, to the extra wire you have there. Also what you'll need to get are some uh, screws, um, any type of stainless steel screw, zinc plated screw will work in order to fasten the voltage reducer to the frame of your golf cart. Alright, now that I've explained these, we'll go ahead and show you how to install them. Okay, before we go into installing the voltage reducers, or at least showing you how to perform that task, you're always going to want to wear safety gloves when you're working with the battery area, and also protective eyewear. So our first step will be to remove the front seat off this easy go golf cart. And we'll just set the seat off to the side. And then with an easy go or any electrical operated car, club car, whatever it be, you always want to make sure you have your key in the off position. And then this easy go is a PDS cart, so it's got this tow maintenance box over here. Uh, club cars are the same way. If they run on a regen system, they're going to have a switch right here that you just need to flip into the tow maintenance position. Always also, make sure that your parking brake is set before you do any type of work to this vehicle. And this is that tow maintenance switch I was talking about. Um, club cars and Yamaha so will all have them unless it's an older cart. It'll just be a series drive system, so you won't have to really necessarily worry about flipping it into the tow maintenance position. Now, what we're working on here is a 95 and up EasyGo TXT. This is a this is a body style that they still carry these days and it runs on a 36 volt system so the way, the way that you can tell that is by flipping these caps and counting that there's three holes in the batteries but seeing how this is a 36 volt system and these batteries are all in series like this the voltage reducer we're going to be installing today takes 36 volts and reduces it down to 12 volts so what we'll have to do is have to start at the beginning of the series which this is the positive at the beginning that runs to the solenoid this is the negative that runs to the controller so we're going to remove this wire and this wire and then uh, install the voltage reducer our first step when installing this 48 volt and 36 volt voltage reducer will be to find an area located in your golf cart to rest it now what we have here is we have the input that's going in so this will be whatever the battery's voltage is running in through the positive and negative lead. And then what you'll have on the other side is your 12 volt accessories to where you can hook up your horn, your lights, your radio, whatever it is you need to hook up. So our first step since we've located a place to install this voltage reducer, which looks like right there will work, we want to make sure that the, the 
factory wiring harness which is running up underneath the frame isn't in any interference when you are putting a screw through. So what we'll do is we'll just drill this thing down in there. Okay, once we've got the voltage reducer secured to the frame of the golf cart, our next step will be to close off these wires. These are the 12 volt where you'll hook up your accessories. So we're just going to get a butt in, put them in, put them in the hole like that, and crimp it. We'll do this for both of these wires. And then we'll run our positive and negative lead from the entire battery pack to these two wires. Once we've closed off the connections on our 12 volt positive and negative lead, our next step will be to cut off an adequate amount of wire to run to the, to the starting point of the series of these batteries and join them with the, uh, with the wires coming out of the voltage reducer. So we'll put this through. Let me grab some wire crimpers. Crimp the wires. And then run the negative or the positive. And do the same. And for this, you can probably wrap some electrical tape around there just to hold them in place, give it some extra security, and to keep them from touching. Okay, once we've got our positive and negative leads running out of the voltage reducer, we'll put those 5 16 ring terminals on, like so. Make sure that the tow maintenance switch is in the tow position. And we're going to hook up the negative first. Now what you want to do is grab a 9 16 wrench, take the nut off, hook up the negative, put the nut back on, tighten it down, and then do the same for the positive side. Now if you're having trouble locating where the starting series is in your battery pack, we're working on an easy go right here, but a club car that's a 48 volt will have a different arrangement of batteries, and you'll need to check out our website under the tech help, and you'll see a diagram on where to hook up this voltage reducer. But as we got an easy go here, we'll grab the positive lead, hook it right up, there'll be a little spark, which is fine. And grab the nut. Put the nut on and tighten it down. Now if you forget to put the end caps on your positive and negative over here on your voltage reducer, these might short out on the frame of the golf cart, which you don't want to happen. So you want to close those off with those with those butt connectors like that. And then all you'd have to do is hook up your 12 volt accessories into here and then it'll reduce this entire system from 36 volts down to 12 or vice versa with 48 down to 12. Alright, once we've got everything hooked up, the positive, the negative running to the voltage reducer, which the voltage reducer has an inline fuse on it, we're just going to test to make sure that we have 12 volts. So we've got a volt, or a volt meter here. We're going to run the negative to the black wire. So we'll put that in there like so. And then we'll run the positive to the blue wire. And as you can tell, our meter shows 12 and a half volts. So we reduce that entire system from 36 to 12 volts. An advantage to doing that is that you're not pulling the same amperage off just two batteries. Because this is a 36 volt system, each one of these batteries is 6 volts. So you could tie in by just using two of these batteries making 12 volts, but those batteries over time 
will run down a lot quicker than the rest of the set. So it's always best to install a voltage reducer which will take the entire set of batteries and reduce them down to 12 volts as you can see here. And then you can tie in any of your 12 volt accessories into, this, into these two wires right here and uh, power, power your cart. Okay, we just showed you how to install a 36 or 48 volt down to 12 volt reducer, but we also sell a little higher capacity one that's a 15 amp instead of the 10 amp one I just showed you. Now there's a diagram that's included with this voltage reducer, but what I'll do is I'll just explain it to you um, here in just a second instead of installing it. So what we have here is we have an output, which is a positive, so these are both positive leads. These leads are going to go to the positive or to the negative side of your accessory. So you would plug your negative in in here and then this on the other side of the voltage reducer will be what you hook up to your negative lead. So in essence what we, what we have here this reduces either 16 volts or 18 volts down to 12. So 18 volts, these are 6 volt batteries, so we got 6, 12, 18. So what you would do is you would tie in this one end to the negative terminal here, and then you would run your accessory negative through here, and then the positive off of your accessory would run to the third battery in the series, which would be this positive post here. Now if you have any questions, give us a call, or you can just check out these instructions and they kind of explain exactly how to sorry about that exactly how to wire this thing up